happy to be here. Good, a- good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to uh, everybody all over the world watching. How exciting is this? It's raining all over the world right now. Do I have a clicker? Any chance? Uh, I just pointed that and it goes to my next slide. Or it's Sorry, you guys. I walked out without the clicker. My bad. Uh, so, you know, I like to uh, talk about some different things when I'm up and uh, give, uh, give you guys a little different perspective. Um, and we're going to talk about investing again. Um, we're going to talk about, thank you. We're going to talk about really what I think the best investment in the world is. We're going to talk about startups, investing in startups, because I do a lot of that. And I work with a lot of people and I've just been involved with this brilliant blockchain startup that's raising $5 million. I'll tell you a little more about it in a minute. But you are a startup. You are a startup entrepreneur. Every single one of you, until you get to the point where you're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a month and everything is on cruise control, you're a startup entrepreneur and you're building a business. And I need you to think like that. And I need you to think that you're not only building your own business as a startup entrepreneur, you're investing time and money and resources. You're investing in yourself and in this startup. So in my mind, let's talk a little about what makes a good startup. There's five factors. And uh, let's, let's talk about what I think the best investment is, by the way. The best investment is what I call a regenerative business. Now I'm taking this from new kind of uh, real estate development that's me hanging out on my little beach there. I went over there in uh, January. We're getting things finally going on that island. Uh, and I don't know if there's a way to play. I've got a little video there. Does, I, I don't know if I can hit it here or not. It's on the right side. If not, it's no big deal. Oh, there we go. Wow. What happened? <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's OK. I'm just. Uh, Helicoptering in sideways onto the island. <laughs> I even got dizzy from that. Um, and uh, it's just a fun little clip of landing on the island and hanging out. And I've got a couple of really partners. And we are doing not just sustainable uh, development. There is a new level of development, and it should apply to everything you do in your startup. It's called regenerative. So sustainable means. You've built something that can sustain you in a community. Regenerative means you build something that produces everything you need and then some. So you actually produce more electricity than you use, produce more water than you use, produce more food than you use. That's the new regenerative villages and towns that are starting to emerge in developments. Super cool. Same thing should apply in your thought process to your business. You want to be able to produce more than you consume, more income than you need. That's a regenerative business, and that to me is the best kind of startup to invest in, right? Yeah. So um, I'm actually doing a little work right there, uh, and that's the way we should all be working most of the time, I hope, eventually. Um, let's talk about the five success factors that make a difference in a successful startup. There's five major factors, and um, we're gonna talk about each one of them, and we're gonna apply it to your RAIN startup. The first factor is the idea. What's the service? What's the product? Now, there's a brilliant guy by the name of Bill Gross who started Idea Labs. It's a famous venture capital firm in Silicon Valley. They've been wildly successful. And he did this study. He said, I've made 100 investments, and I want to study which ones worked, which ones didn't, and why. And then he studied 100 other investments he didn't make that were successful and failed. And he put those two together, those 200 um, startups together and said, here are the five things I've been able to identify as the key factors in the success of a startup. And one is the service product and idea. The second one is the team. Can the team execute? And can they pivot? And that is super important today, more than ever before, because we are in such a dynamic economic and business environment with technology. Technology is changing everything so fast and you have to keep up with it. And if you don't pivot when new technology hits, you're gonna lose out. And that Connect app that you just watched, well, I'll come back and talk about that in just a minute. That's a pivot you all 
need to make. I promise you, if you ignore that, it's gonna cost you. That app is super important to plug in and it's gonna become more and more important in this business as every day goes by. So, third thing, your business model. That's an, also a key factor in your success in any startup. Now, what does business model mean? That's how do you generate revenue? That's your business model. How do I generate revenue? The fourth thing that's important is funding. You gotta have the funding to launch your startup. You gotta have the funding to grow when you start growing. And the fifth thing is timing. Is the market ready for your product or service? Yes. yes. Well, yes it is. I'll come back to that, thank you. <laughs> um, and that is a key with any kind of startup. Is the market ready? Is the market growing? Is the timing good? Now, one of the interesting things that Bill Gross did is he did a calculation. He wanted to know which was the most important thing out of those five factors, you need all of them, but what one was the most important to the success of the startups that he invested in? Well, let's take a little quick, quick show of hands. How many of you think it's the idea product, the most important thing? Nobody raised their hand. How many of you think it's the team and the, 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 the actual team that can execute? Yeah. Two people, two, three people. How many think it's the business model, how you make the money, how you make the revenue? Two, three people. How many of you think it's the funding that's the most important thing? Nobody. How many of you think it's the timing? Raise your hands. Wow! Wow! This is a little more sophisticated group than I thought. <laughs> because guess what the answer was? Timing, number one factor. 42% is how he rated it. The second most, so the timing, we'll come back to timing in a minute, but the second most important thing was the team. So if you take timing and the team, that's 74% of how successful your, your startup's going to be relies on those two things. Basically, 25% is all the other stuff, the business model funding and the idea product. It's the timing and the team that make the difference. The biggest difference by far. <laughs> well, how does rain stack up? When you look at this, you know, um, I wanna just do a little comparison and talk about how this rain startup business that you're all involved in compares to typical businesses. And so let's talk about the idea, service, or product to begin with. <laughs> And go, go, go down the list. I want to make a point out of something about this, right? You have amazing products, brilliant products, and there's more brilliant products coming. But there's a point that I want to make here in terms of rain with your product that you have. Okay, and I put Dallas up there as an example. Thanks, uh, I'm thinking about you, Mike Cameron and Lindsay and the brilliant partners in Texas. Um, if you never, you know, everybody in the field, New products, new products, what's a new product? You got a new product? What's a new product? Product, 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 product. Yeah. And I just want to make a point. I did a little math. If you just take this one product, Seoul, and 10% of the people, just 10% of the people in the metropolitan area of Dallas, if we only had 10% of the people just in Dallas taking this one product, that's 530. $31 million a year in sales. I love the new products they just launched. I love the new products they're going to be launching in the future. This is all you need to be successful in this business. This company I'm working with, this blockchain technology, I can't mention the name because they haven't closed their funding, so it, I can't be public about it. But this blockchain technology company, they're raising $5 million just to make the product. And then to get it into the market, right? So let's go to the executive team for a second. So anyway, the point I wanna make, you've got brilliant products, and you know how much it costs you to get your hands on those products? Zero. Zero. That is extremely unusual for a startup, that you don't have to spend a lot of time and a lot of money on the products. All right, the team, executive team. Super important, it's really you. Of course you have support from your upline, you have some support from downline people, smart people that you bring into the business, but this is really you, it's about you. And your ability to execute, and your ability to pivot. Super important, and pivoting is technology today. 
And the brilliant thing about being in a startup and network marketing is that technology always helps you. From the beginning when we had email to communicate more, and then 10 years ago we got WhatsApp where you could do really cheap calls all over the world, and now we've got social media. And let me just talk about social media for a second because I'm a little inspired by that presentation on the Connect app that just happened. A lot of people are confused about social media. Social media is not about mass marketing. That is not what social media is all about. Social media is taking everything you learn on how to do one-on-one -on -one marketing and just applying it on social media platforms. You can be super sophisticated with social media if you want, like Dino, he's amazing. Or you can do it really in a very straightforward, simple, effective way, like Natasha Pelgrim. She's this brilliant, beautiful uh, rain partner in Amsterdam. And here's what she does. She's in the business of raising consciousness and helping people to be happier. And she's got this beautiful website and Facebook page where you get information about that. And what she does in social media with Rain is she connects with other people around the world who are interested in raising their vibration, raising their consciousness, and she becomes friends with them. And then they ask about what she does and she tells them about Rain. It's really simple. And then she taught her mother, who's in the travel industry, how to use Facebook to make friends with people in the travel industry around the world. And she does. And then she tells them about Rain and she signed up people in Rain. So that is the simple way that everybody can be efficient in social media is just to make friends who have common interests that then naturally you can tell them about Rain with this beautiful Connect app and all the resources you have. That's it, it's super simple. You don't have to make it any more complicated than that. So, that's pivoting, right? Let's go to business model for a moment. Um, the business model here as a startup in Rain is pretty straightforward. It's one-to-one -one marketing, whether you're doing it on social media, face-to-face, -face, referrals, however you're doing it, and it's this comp plan that's already built in that pays you out, and it's somebody else that does all the manufacturing and all the shipment and all the fulfillment. That is a beautiful business model. I don't know very many business models where you can actually plug into start something, start a business, not have to pay for the product, not have to pay for the fulfillment, and if your business starts to grow, like a lot of startup companies, they start to grow, and guess what? First thing they need is extra capital. This company that's raising five million bucks just to build a product, as soon as they launch it, they're raising another $50 million to be able to grow. Okay? This is just brilliant. This business model is brilliant in terms of how fast you can grow on a worldwide basis. I don't know startups that can do that. I mean, it's just really super unique. And then funding, simple. We've already talked about that a little. As a startup entrepreneur in rain, you, you know, uh, if you spent a lot of money, it would still probably be less than a cheap vacation. Okay? You don't need $5 million. You don't need $100,000. You don't need $50,000 to start this business and to really grow it and be successful. It's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant funding technique for a startup uh, and part of the business model. And then the last thing is timing, right? So everybody got it right. I was actually really impressed because uh, I talked to a lot of sophisticated investors and entrepreneurs and I, I run them through this. I say, which one do you think is the most important? Some of them get timing. A lot of them say it's team. Uh, some of them say it's the product but virtually almost everybody in here said timing. So what about the timing? As a startup entrepreneur in rain, how's your timing right now? What do you think, good or bad? Okay, you know, let me, let's talk about why, specifically, for just a moment, okay? A health industry, health and wellness, people caring about their health, people caring about what they're eating. Is that growing or declining? Growing. It's growing worldwide. Is it gonna continue to grow for the next 20 years? Yes. Of course. No matter what technology comes out, no matter what, what is happening out there in the world, that industry will grow forever until we get it perfect, which is not in our lifetime for sure, okay? So we're in a great long-term growth industry that's not gonna stop growing, ever. Second thing, entrepreneurship. Is entrepreneurship on the rise? It is on the rise, globally. More and more people are becoming at-home workers, remote workers, they're moving to little islands. Bali is exploding right now with remote workers and entrepreneurs who can do their work from anywhere in the world. 
it's, uh, it's amazing the community that's building there right now. I've got some friends who've moved there and they love it. And Puerto Rico too. Uh, it's another great place, especially for Americans. So you've got this entrepreneurship that's growing and one of the reasons it's growing is technology is allowing this to happen. And the second reason is AI, artificial intelligence. And what do I mean by that? I mean that artificial intelligence, and you heard me talk about this a year or so ago, artificial intelligence is going to eliminate a lot of jobs and not replace them with new technology jobs because it's so efficient. It'll replace some new technology jobs, but you'll get rid of 100,000 jobs in a county and maybe replace it with 1,000 jobs. And so what's gonna happen over the next five to 10 years, it's been in the news everywhere, is unemployment rates are gonna start going up and they're not gonna come down again because technology is just wiping out entire industries. You take blockchain technology that I'm involved in, artificial intelligence, smart machines and robots, and those four things could potentially create 40% unemployment on the entire planet in the next 10 years. And, and like everybody's talking about this, it's not sci-fi stuff. And it's going to do what? What will people have to do when their entire industries are literally wiped out? They're gonna have to be entrepreneurs. They're not gonna have a choice. They're either gonna have to live on a super, super, super small income or they're gonna have to be entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurship is going to skyrocket literally like never before in the history of capitalism. Like never before over the next 10 years. Getting yourself in this type of business where you can take advantage of the growth in entrepreneurship is like dreaming. I mean, it's almost like fantasy land. It couldn't get better from a timing perspective. And then the, the last thing I'll talk about is rain. The industry is perfect. Health and entrepreneurship and AI getting rid of jobs. And now what about rain as a company? It's a good time to get involved? Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. It's great. We've worked out a lot of bugs. We've grown a lot. We still have not hit that. We're just starting to get into that momentum. Everybody knows what that means. So your timing getting in here is really ideal. Timing, timing, timing. It's brilliant timing. So if you can get your timing right, which you have, congratulations, because that's a, the most important factor in your success as a startup. And what's the second most important thing? Thank you. It's you. Okay, it's your team. It's the team you surround yourself, it's you. And guess what, you're here. Everybody here and listening to this conference, they're investing themselves, they're doing the right things. You're on the path to being super successful in this business. You've got great products, you've got an amazing business model, the funding is, a, is nothing for this business, the timing is perfect. Um, the only way you're not gonna make a lot of money is just to not do anything, it's that simple. You just have to keep going. Keep going, keep going, and I'm just gonna finish with um, one last picture here, uh, just as a reminder. Look, we wanna all have a beautiful, happy life. And I've literally read thousands of business plans and helped hundreds of entrepreneurs, and I continue to do that. And I still have never found a business model, a startup that can match what you can do here with Rain and Network Marketing. I congratulate you for being here. Thank you. Um, I congratulate you for recognizing that yourself. And I'm super excited about the future and where Rain's going and where everybody else is going in here. Thank you very much for your time today. Woo!